Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to talk about the samples that I pulled last week in the Sample Sunday series, and then we're also going to pull some new samples. So to start with, we're going to talk about the concealer that I tried out. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. It says it's infused with coconut water. So this is actually a pretty hydrating concealer, I feel like. It's not super full coverage, but I feel like it's got a good enough coverage to where if you don't have very, very dark circles, then you're going to be okay with it. Um, I really do like this concealer. I ended up using two shades off of here. I use fair and medium. Really like the way that this works. This is actually a concealer that I own in the full size. So I really do like this one. This one and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I think that's what it's called, are two of my favorites that I have. I know everybody's hyped up about the Tarte Shape Tape, but for some reason that one just doesn't work well for me. I think it's a little too thick and a little too drying for me. Don't hate me because I don't I don't love it. It's not that I hate that concealer. I just feel like it's not working well for me, as well for me as it does for everybody else. So this one actually works pretty good for me. It does cause a little bit of creasing, but nothing to where I'd be like concerned to tell you that you shouldn't buy it. So I think this is a good one. The next thing I have is the Viviscal. This is the Gr Gorgeous Growth Densifying Shampoo Conditioner and Elixir. So first of all, the, the smell of this smells very, very strong. It smells like a men's cologne. I think it's a very, very strong scent. So if you're not into those strong scents, you're probably not going to like this because it smells to me a lot like men's cologne. Now, I did notice when I used this, I feel like it made my hair look really nice and like silky looking. However, there's not enough in either one of these packets. Like the shampoo was okay, but the conditioner was like not a whole lot. But besides that point, I think it is a good shampoo and conditioner. And I think it's not that expensive either. I thought it was more expensive than this. I think it's like $10 a bottle. And then I think Ulta has deals where you can buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one free, something like that going on right now. So if you're interested in something that would help with hair growth, I would recommend checking this out. I know a lot of people have had good experiences with the Viscal. I, however, have not, so I can't recommend it upon my recommendations because I tried the vitamins board before and the vitamins didn't do anything for me, but the shampoo and conditioner, this is the first time I'd ever tried that, and the elixir is the first time I'd ever tried that. Now, the elixir is a little bit more like a gel consistency, so you just put that in after you've washed your hair and you just to go about your normal day, like if you're going to blow dry it, if you're going to do whatever you're going to do to it. So I really do like this set together, but I don't think I would purchase it for two reasons. One, because the Viscal didn't work for me before as far as the vitamins. And I think if the vitamins don't work, then I'm pretty sure the shampoo and conditioner is not going to work for me either. The second reason is that I feel like it's a little strong. I feel like the scent is a little overpowering. So if you like those little more stronger men cologne-ish type scents, then you may enjoy this. The next thing is the OGX. This is the Quenching Coconut Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this smells really, really good. This smells like beach vacation. Love the way this smells, but I've heard some bad things about the OGX line. I think it was Melissa Autry who did a video about the OGX saying that it was not good for her hair. Her hairdresser actually was concerned because she was using this type of product and told her pretty much it was not a good product to use and even I think even her husband had issues with it. So you might want to check her video out if you're if you're thinking about using some OGX. I don't really know a whole lot about it as far as whether or not it can actually damage your hair or not. I think it smells really good. It lathered up really well. There was enough product in both of these to tell whether or not the conditioner was working. The conditioner did a great job of like detangling my hair. So this is actually a product that I personally would consider purchasing. The next product is the Sea Booth Egyptian Argan Oil Body Butter. This smells actually pretty good after it's on your skin. When you're first applying it, I don't think it smells that great. But once you have it onto your skin, it's kind of soaked in. It feels really nice and it smells really good. Because it has that argan oil in it, I feel like it makes your skin look nice and soft and smooth. So if you're into that type of thing, I think you would definitely enjoy this. And this is something else I think that can be found at Ulta and it's not super expensive. So I would consider purchasing a full size of this because I like, I like any kind of oils on my body because I feel like that's really good for my dry skin. So I would consider purchasing a full size. The next thing is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. So I used all the, the not the conditioner, <laughs> that's not conditioner. I was trying to find the cushion. I think I might have tossed the cushion itself. Nope, it's down in here. Oh, great. It's in my cup making a mess. So it came with this little cushion right here that was stuck in here. And then at the top, it comes with a little applicator. So here's the little applicator and then there's your cushion with the hair. That's an added bonus. So it does have this little bitty cushion, which I tried to use it as you can see, but I couldn't do makeup with this little cushion. It was just so tiny. I'm like, what the heck is that for? Like spot concealing? That's all I could pretty much use it for. So I ended up going with my brush and then using it with my brush. Love this foundation. This is a foundation I'm definitely considering purchasing for the summer because this would be something easy to kind of throw in your purse because it is like a compact form. Throw it in my purse and just have it for whenever I need to. Really do like the way this looked on my skin because I do have very dry skin. I feel like it made my skin look a little more luminous. It had pretty good coverage. Love the way this looked. They, this shade right here is W3 and actually pretty mat and matched me pretty good. So 
this is something I'm definitely looking forward to purchasing in the, in the full size here in the future. The next thing is the Ya repellent, bug repellent. So this is a little, there, there's like two little sheets in here that you can rub on to help repel bugs. Oh my gosh, this smells terrible, guys. This smells horrible. It smells like bug spray, like not bug spray like as far as like what you put on yourself to keep bugs from getting on you. It smells like the kind that you kill the bugs with, which is terrible. That's a terrible scent. That's what this smells like. It's very, very oily consistency. I do not like this whatsoever. I would never purchase any of these. I think they smell horrendous. I wouldn't want to smell like that. I know bug spray is not, or bug repellent is not supposed to smell great. But this just smells terrible. It smells like poison. So no, that's not going to be something I'm going to purchase. The next thing is the Udad. Is it Udad? Udad? I'm not sure. Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. So this is actually a gel that you're supposed to use if you have frizzy hair, which I typically have frizzy hair all the time. It's pulled up today just because I didn't feel like doing my hair. I really didn't feel like doing makeup today. I was in one of those days where I'm like, I don't really want to do any of that stuff. Hope you guys don't mind that, but I just don't. I know you guys probably are like me some days where you're just like, I'm not doing all that. It's not not happening. But this was actually pretty good for helping to make my hair look a little bit more tame. I wouldn't say it's the best product I've ever used for helping to tame my hair though. So for me, I wouldn't purchase it. It smells okay. It's a little bit sticky. Like when you start, when you start putting it onto your hands and rubbing it into your hair, it leaves a sticky residue on your hands and then your hair feels a little bit sticky too. So just be leery of that because I don't like sticky things in my hair. I, I like more oily type of things in my hair. So if you don't mind it's something sticky, then you may enjoy this. The next thing is the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Eye Oxygenating Eye Gel Cream. So this cream was actually pretty good. However, I can tell you Philosophy is one of my favorite brands. If you've been with me for a while, you know I always rave about Philosophy. I think they have some of the best products I've ever tried. However, this eye cream, for some reason, burned my eyes really bad. Like, yeah, I had little tears rolling down. I'm like, my gosh, what is in this? I don't know what is in it that made the tears start coming out, what, what made my eyes water up like that. But just keep, be careful when you're putting this on to keep it away from your eyes. I don't think it's an orbital cream, so I don't think you should be using it all over. I'm thinking it's something you just put up underneath your eye and not too close to your eye. So I think that's where I made the mistake. I used it as an orbital cream and then that's when it got into my eye. So just be careful if you do purchase this or if you do have the sample. Just be careful, don't put it close to your eyeball at all because if it gets in there, it will make your eyes water. I don't really saw where it made a, a big difference. It was hydrating, but it wasn't over hydrating. I'm one of those, I have to find that Goldilocks eye cream. I don't want it too thick because then it causes the little bumps under my eyes. I don't want it too thin because I feel like it does nothing. So I need one of those Goldilocks creams where I feel like it's just right. So this one here, I feel like it was a little bit thin on the thin side. It wasn't the best, so I probably wouldn't purchase this because it made me, it made me cry and then it was just not that creamy. It wasn't that good of a consistency. Now we have two perfume samples here. I have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I actually like this scent, but I don't love this scent. I think it's a good scent. If you're looking for a perfume and you like um, more lighter scents, I think you might enjoy this. I wrote down the notes to this. Let me try to find them. The Light Blue is a, um, has the fragrance uh, Citron, Bluebell, Granny Smith Apple, Jasmine, Bamboo, White Rose, Cedarwood, and Amber Musk. And I figured out that you can purchase a full size of this, which is 1.6 ounces for $60, $76. So it's a little bit pricey. I don't love it. I think it's good, but I don't think it's the best that I've ever tried. I think it's one of those perfumes that I feel like you either like it or you don't. So for me, it's just, I don't really love it. The next perfume was the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Now this one actually smells pretty good. It smells a little bit more florally, a little bit more girly. It reminds me a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit of the Clinique Happy. I love the Clinique Happy and that's what this kind of reminds me of. And this has the notes in it, uh, strawberry, violet leaves, jasmine, and white woods. And for 1.7 ounces, you're going to get this for 80 bucks. So this is actually pretty good, but I know you can find it cheaper. So if you're looking for perfumes, that's something else I want to remind you guys. Don't always buy your perfumes from Sephora or from Ulta look around because like there's fragrance.net there's other per uh, perfume places that actually can give you a better deal on perfumes just check around on perfumes if you're looking into purchasing a full size of any perfume so this one actually i would consider purchasing a full size but the light blue no i know everybody raved about that a couple years too ago too they're light blue and i'm just like i don't see what the hype was on it so maybe it's just me okay so now we're gonna go ahead and pull our new sample so i have my perfume right here so we're gonna pull two so here's the first one. The first one I have is the scent Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. Mm, and it doesn't say uh, Pour Homme, so it's not a men's cologne, which is great. The next one is, what do we have here? 
now we have the scent Victor and Ross Spice Bomb. I've tried Flower Bomb, but I don't think I've ever tried Spice Bomb. Hopefully that's not a men's fragrance because you guys know how good I am about getting men's fragrances. So we'll have to try that out. Now we're going to go ahead and pull our body care product. So I have my body care basket here. So we're going to pull two products out of here. So the first one I have is the Ulta Beauty Pink Sorbet Moisturizing Body Lotion. I know I've tried the body wash, I think it was. Now there, here's the body lotion, so I'll have to try that out and see how good it is. They had a lot of these on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I kind of kicked myself that I didn't purchase the scent because I remembered after the sale was over that I really did love the scent. But I think Ulta's pretty good about putting their brands on sale pretty often, so I may just end up picking it up later, the, the body wash. The next thing I'm going to pull is, let's see, grab down in here into the bag. Oh, we have, what do we have? Oh, we have something else from Perfectly Posh. I used a Perfectly Posh like last week, not this week, but last week. And it was actually really good. It was like called a Honey Mud or something like that. Honey, I don't remember. It was like a body um, mask. This here is the Skin Delicious Snarky Butter. So it says a scrumptious shea butter, almond, and honey butter. I've heard that some of the products from the Perfectly Posh are really, really good. So I'm excited to try this out and see how good it is. Now let's go ahead and pull our skincare samples and our skincare basket is right here. This is our ginormous basket that I don't think is shrinking. I think it's growing. I think we might be feeding it, what is it, miracle Grow. We have the Kate Somerville Anti-Aging Deep Tissue Repair. Hmm, that's interesting. I've never tried that. So I'm excited to try that. I really do like a lot of Kate Somerville's products. I don't know if, how many products you've tried from her, but I've tried her Exfolicate. I've tried her Eradicate and I like both of those. So now let's pull one more product from here and we have something interesting. What is this? We have the Hydrodermalique Glove. This is an innovative microfiber, removes makeup with only water. So this is supposed to be like a little makeup remover. I think, yeah, it's just a little glove in here. So we'll have to try that out and see how good it is. Now we're on to our makeup samples. So I'm going to pull two samples from here. Let's see what we get. The first one is Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Foundation. And this looks different than the one I've tried before. The one I tried before looks a little bit different. I don't know if maybe this is the new one and the one I tried before is the old one. So I'll try this out. This is in the shade Y245, which says equals 120. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll try that out. One more makeup sample. And what do we have? Oh, we have something from CoverGirl. I think we recently tried this, maybe. This is the CoverGirl. No, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. This is the True Berlin Family. This is the Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Yes, I know I have because these samples are, are, are very familiar to me now. So I'm not going to try this again because I know I've already tried that. I want to try something different with you guys. So we're going to pass on that one. And the next sample is... <laughs> now what do we have? Oh my gosh, no way. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I, you guys know I don't like that primer that much, so I'm not even going to try it again. I'm just going to pass that along. Now we have something else. Now we have something from my subscription I had to So Schwa. So here's two products in here. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Power Duo and the Guerlain Bronzing Powder. So I'll try these out. I've tried the foundation and my Get Ready With Me with my collab with Liv. So, and I really did like that foundation. Actually, I really, I loved it. I actually, I put it onto my loves list. I didn't purchase it during the Sephora VIB sale, but it was really nice. I thought about it, but it's $63. Even with 15% off, I'm like, I don't know. That's just too pricey. So, I'll try these little powders out, though. Now, we're on to our hair care samples. So, here's hair care right here. I'm going to pull two hair care. So, the first one is by Alterno. So, this is the Alterno Caviar Replenishing moisture shampoo and conditioner so here's what the little package looks like so i'm excited to try that i know Aterna actually is a brand that i really do like i like a lot of the products from that brand so i'm excited to play with that and the last product we have for today is something by phyto paris this is a mask it's an ultra repairing mask for weakened damaged hair that's perfect for me because my hair is definitely weakened and damaged from color treating it so i'm excited to try that out I love hair masking. My favorite hair mask right now is Carol's Daughter. That one smells absolutely amazing. If you've never smelled anything from Carol's Daughter, I recommend going into Ulta and just opening one up. Well, if they're open, like if they're, the container's open, don't just go in there and open things up. But if it's open and you're able to smell it, definitely smell it. It smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to try this little mask out and see how good it is for my 
my hair. So other than that, those are the samples for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, are you doing Sample Sunday along with me? Are you pulling some samples? Are you trying them out? Are you finding some products that you're adding to your list that you want to purchase? Or are you finding products that you're checking, you're like crossing off your list now? You're like, nope, never going to try that again because that was terrible. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.